Hi! On today's masterclass, I'll be teaching you how to make two delicious teasers to serve with drinks at your next party. I call them teasers because until you get to try them, they just sit there on the plate teasing you. Let's get the party started. So it really depends on how many people you have coming over as to how many sheets of puff pastry you'll need. One sheet makes about 28 puffs, so you can do your calculations from that. Okay, so you need to thaw the pastry slightly, and then you cut it down the middle, so you have two rectangles. Then all you need to do, anyone can make this, even if you can't cook, you could make this. Sprinkle the cheese, it's 40 grams of cheese, so about 20 on both sides, down the centre. Then, you can put a little bit more, it doesn't really matter, don't need to be too accurate. Then, we just grate some parmesan cheese on top makes it go nice and brown as it bubbles in the oven. It's about a tablespoon or so on each side. Okay. And finish it off with a sprinkling of rock salt and some cracked black pepper. Okay, so the next step is to fold it over into the middle. Now, I'm using, my puff pastry has a plastic sheet underneath to stop it from sticking, but if yours doesn't come like that, you'd probably need to flour your board. Now, as you fold it into the middle, you leave about a one centimetre gap. and then you fold it over again. Then you cut 13 little cuts along, about one centimetre each, and you place them on your tray to bake them in the oven. That's how they look for about eight minutes at 200 degrees. So here's an idea of some of the other variations you can have. You can try some hot chilli, hot chilli sauce, spread that all the way over. Now you don't want too much because it's pretty hot. And keep going, and the cheese needs to go on top. Then you could look at a basil and cashew and parmesan dip. Spread that over as well. A sun dried tomato pesto or even a basil pesto. Seeded mustard. And then there's also anchovy. I know most people will probably avoid this one, but I know I have a lot of friends in Italy who might like it. So you need to spread them out, layer them, one or two up each side. But you need to put the cheese down first with that one. And with the others you put the cheese on top. And last of all, you could use Vegemite. Vegemite and cheese. The kids will love that. <laughs> 